Talk Mess. <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm here. Nothing. Oh, oh, my hearing aid. We've That's just had joke. that conversation. Yeah. Mother. Shockingly, oh, surprisingly. Day four. Oh, oh. What could it possibly what be? What could it be? What colour today? Oh, oh, oh. Sunshine. I didn't make her fill it herself this time. <laughs> Very mean of you. Yeah. But it so was funny. It could arrive today. I hope so. That's what I thought the DPD driver was. Oh, <laughs> it right. was our dinner, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. is why I started Probably packing more dinner. Important. Can you help? Oh, well, actually, I don't. Well, they like to see us rummage for them, oh. which by myself oh. is quite difficult, but it's right at the front, so it's not too difficult today. <laughs> but yeah, next time, if one of you guys could right, I'll hold, hold it. Like a good yeah. rummage. Ooh. I'll be the box holder. Ooh. Yeah, you've got to guess what Ooh. it is. Oh, ah, <laughs> I thought they were hard. Wonder clips. You can never have too many wonder clips. Oh, brilliant. Ever, because I keep like stealing mums. So. Yes. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> Very happy. Onward with the mystery. Yes. Very good it was yesterday. Yeah, we, it was yeah. A, we had to do the genealogy on the, on the family tree. And yes. we all got it. Yes. Even well, eventually we, we all got the family tree. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we didn't all guess first time. Yeah the uh, culprit we have oh, worked yeah. out who the gold digger is yep and we are on to envelope oh, letter number four yep oh good grief yeah. <laughs> an explosion yes volcanic explosion yes what is that japan or well that could be mount fuji yeah it? we've got the a's already so that's nice of them now we've just got to put the rest of it together so okay yeah. we can do this i shall have a go at that this one you can actually have a sip of if you wanted. No. It's 85%. No. It's quite bitter, but I'm liking no. it. I had no, the other it day. just emphasise how much I'm missing it. <laughs> yeah. 85% you're allowed. I know, but it's cruel. Oh, okay. I'm saving myself for Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so much um, is going to happen on Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be just a, like and a... And it will start a, at 7 o'clock yeah. in the morning. Food marathon of just eating yeah. everything. That was very quick today. Yeah, it was. Well, we've all got lots of stuff to do, so yeah, we, I yeah. hope you enjoyed the very quick calendars, yeah. and we will be back tomorrow for more calendars and hopefully another place on the world. And I will show you the map today, because yesterday yeah. we just looked at it and went, ooh, but today I'll show you that New Zealand has disappeared. Yeah. So it's out into the freezing cold now. It's freezing outside. So we don't have Antarctica, and we don't have New Zealand. My uncle, cousins and nephew have all disappeared off the face of the planet. Very quick calendars this morning as everyone had things to go and do and stuff arrived and we were late starting so yeah I need to drink this while it's still hot well warm <laughs> so a few people have asked about why we're doing it down here and why isn't it Christmassy yet it's dad's birthday on the 9th of December so we don't Christmassify anywhere until after that because it's birthday first then Christmas it used to be the same my grandmother's birthday was actually Christmas day so the Christmas morning was always granny's birthday and then Christmas afternoon was Christmas and we had separate presents and separate cakes and everything dad's birthday first then Christmas decks and things like that which is why there isn't any Christmas decoration anywhere as yet right so I have got a Sirocco and a Sheridan to get through today and I am so excited I've also got to schedule the hangout for tomorrow and prep the gable t-shirts for that because I would like to get those done tomorrow then we will be seven projects down out of the 19 so you know like I said powering through knit projects are always quick to do oh you haven't seen it yet I need to finish editing the fabric haul and sewing plans for December almost done but it what it did get to 11 o'clock last night and I was starting to get tired and I was gonna I was like I'm gonna make a mistake or I'm just gonna get lazy let's do it in the morning so I need to get that done then I can get on with sewing then we can get to cutting out although I could cut out with the peeps in the hangout tomorrow as well so yeah we'll see anyway let's stop procrastinating and get on with those tasks one hour later fabric haul is edited uploaded and ready to go you should be seeing it at five o'clock this evening i've decided to start on the sheridan sweater because that's the easiest of the two so let's get that done then we can move on to the sirocco Exciting. three hours later it's currently half past five it's taken me four and a half hours but i have a finished sheridan and infinity scarf because i had enough fabric left from my atelier brunette fabric and 
a Sirocco. So I'm going to put them on. I'm going to film a very quick short for to put out this evening to be kind of like, ah, oh, look what I've done today. If you'd like to see more, come and head over to Vlogmas Day 4. Yes, day four, which is what you're seeing now. So welcome if you're here from my short. I am gonna try these on and fingers crossed they all fit and fingers crossed I like them. Let's have a look. It fits. I mean, there's no reason that it shouldn't fit because I have made lots of these. I still have three. This is my fourth. I have fabric behind you guys for three more. I'm not even going to apologize for making multiples of them because I love them so much. Let me show you. Probably just need to tip you down a bit. I love it. I love it so much. I, yeah, this is just, I, I have just had dinner. I've had a very large dinner in between the last clip in this one that you're seeing now dad had called to say that dinner was ready it was delicious yeah i really like these i find them very very comfortable if i'd had to have taken the other jumper apart adding on the long sleeves to this would have been nice but i'm kind of glad that i haven't got long sleeves on this one because i do wear them in the spring and the, the autumn as well i had considered actually cutting out the trousers of this and using them as jogging bottoms if i hadn't have had enough fabric that was something i was thinking about but having done the month of no dresses one of the things that i've noticed is that i don't like patterned bottoms with plain tops i had a feeling that if I had made these into this fabric into just jogging bottoms that they wouldn't have gotten worn very often at all. It might have been worn more often if I had made it a zip up top instead of a pull on jumper but no. But anyway it doesn't matter because I had just enough fabric to squeeze out the full Sirocco. I had to cut these facing pieces on the cross grain so if you look really carefully the flowers are going in the wrong direction they're going sideways rather than up because this was also a directional print fun times then the inside of my pockets which you really can't see up there can you hang on yeah the inside of my pockets I've got the gold Atelier Brunette dot fabric on them. I really like that. The inside of this as well, I do mine slightly differently to how the pattern has it. I fully line the waistband and then actually put two inch wide elastic in it. I find it more comfortable, believe it or not. And I also think it helps with the fit and helps keep the front in place. This is, uh, <laughs> very low cut and so I have to do have to be careful to make sure that I don't flash anything that I shouldn't but uh, yeah I was so pleased and thank you so so much to Alex for sending me three meters of this fabric I think it was actually Sue Alex's mum-in-law that had made it up Alex had given it to her as a present she'd made it up and put a photo up and I was just like oh it is beautiful I must have some where did you get it from and Alex very very kindly sent it to me so thank you Alex I now have a jumpsuit and jumper in this in this gorgeous gorgeous print and I also when I went back and bought because you told me where you got it from it was Maiki I think it was Maiki if you watch this and I'm wrong let me know in the comments down below I went back and I bought myself a whole bunch of other ones which I have made that jumper out of and as I say I've noticed that I don't really wear it so I'm hoping the zip up hoodies I will wear more often having said all that I still then have cut into my incredibly expensive Atelier brunette fabric to make a Sheridan sweater again it's not something that I wear frequently but I do wear it I am planning on buying some more ponties some plain colored ponties probably from the fabric room because I want to make some more jogging bottoms the ones that I have I have three pairs of the 7634 and I love them but they have all bobbled so so much that they're looking really scruffy and so much so that I've actually got the tops out. You can just see the rainbow of the top back there. The original fabric was so pristine that it's kind of really highlighted how badly pilled or bobbled the, the fabric ha has gotten. And that is just because of wear and tear and being frequently washed. So I'm trying to think, do I go back down the route of getting some more of the inexpensive £3.15 per metre fabric from the fabric room or do I splurge and get some really nice ponty from someone like Lady McElroy for example. I don't know if the more expensive one won't peel and bobble because of the way that these things get worn like the really expensive French terry pair that I made on one of the hangouts with you guys it just peeled the second 
that I looked at, you know, the second I wore it for the first time, it had just rubbed and pilled and that was expensive French terry that I got from Girl Charlie. So I'm kind of thinking it's not the quality of the fabric, it's just the use that the garment gets put to. So I'm thinking maybe I ought to buy the inexpensive ponty from the fabric room, make those up and then give dad my bobbled ones so he can use them as garden rags or cleaning pro you know cleaning rags for the garden so i don't know what do you guys think should i spend a bit more or should i just go with the inexpensive one that i yeah because I, I don't know that the more expensive one's going to behave better is what i'm trying to get at so do you have any experience of it anyway that's a lot of waffle let's try on the sheridan sweater remember to take off the glasses now I know this fabric is stretchy because I bought some of the grey hello, and pink colourway and I've made a Astoria jumper out of that one. So yes, my um, the one that I've made with the Higgs and Higgs cable knit was a little tight getting it on and off over the boobs but this one no problem. So the I've done the same thing, I have made the neckband higher, it's just my preference. Oh yay! Yay! Oh, it's lovely. I love the Sheridan sweater. Hang on, let me tip you down a bit so you can see a bit better. My hair's looking really limp today. Do you see what I mean about patterned jogging bottoms? Kind of, I think it's an optical illusion thing. They bring more attention to the air, because the pattern obviously does. So if I had the pattern up top and black tra uh, fabric down here, it's not the shape that I don't like, it's the pattern. Although actually I'm kind of looking at that, well, I mean, to be fair, I'm looking at that on a two by three inch screen. So when I look at it later and then inevitably see it on the giant flat screen TV in the front room when mum and dad watch the vlog later, it'll be like, oh wow, yes, maybe not. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm so glad I got the top out of this as well. This is awesome. This is so so soft. I did the same thing that I always do. There was a little bit of spare fabric at the bottom. So it's the full width of the fabric sewn together and then just finished off at the edge. I actually left on the branding because it fits so perfectly and it's just one of those ones that again you can kind of add to give a much kind of chunkier chunkier look or leave off but it's it's nice to have the options and I did exactly the same thing with the grey with the pink metallic dots on it although I didn't have enough of that to double it over so I did a narrow rolled hem on my overlocker on the, the grey one yeah oh I like it I'm so happy I'm so so happy so it's still quite early I haven't set up the hangout for tomorrow yet but I'm thinking I'm gonna do that next and then I'm thinking maybe I should start cutting out some of the Gable t-shirts because I did say I could do that with the peeps tomorrow but it would be nice to have some of them done. I've got five fabrics behind you. So I started off with three and then I realised that I'd put two into my citrus collection and I thought, you know what, rather than wait, let's just make the t-shirts up now whilst I'm in knit mode. So we've got this absolutely glorious lemony parity floral print i'm thinking a long sleeved gable from this one if i have enough i think i've got a meter of all of these so a long sleeved gable from this one so the machine's set up for black at the moment so i'm actually even thinking maybe i'll just cut that one out and get it sewn tonight maybe then we have lemons so i did the i have a leafy version of this that i did earlier this year and um i put this lemon one in with the citrus collection obviously got citrus on it. I'm thinking a three-quarter sleeve gable with this one. This is one of the ones from Poland. It is so so pretty. Lots of different flowers on there which I think might be upside down for you guys. No, I think there's sweet peas and orchids and I, I don't, I can't remember what, I can't remember what these blue ones are. I'll ask dad later, he'll know, but you guys will know as well. Then this one, I think this one was from the same place that the lemons and the, the two lemony ones were from and I think it's jelly fabrics or jellyfish fabrics I can't remember off the top of my head I'm sorry but this one again I'm thinking a three-quarter sleeve oh a three-quarter sleeve for the other one as well one of these I actually don't think this is my colors I'm having my colors done on the 14th of December and I kind of think that it's I I, I have absolutely no intention of this process stopping me wearing things that I love and if it 
if if the, it comes out that I should not be wearing this colour for black for example then I'm not gonna stop wearing black because I've made beautiful things in it and I have lots of beautiful things but I might be more considerate about fabric buying going forward it's been interesting because there's been lots of comments like oh yeah get it done it's amazing and then other people just being like no save your money you know what you like so yeah it's gonna be interesting I I really wanted to try it and I thought it could make an interesting video especially with the dress band because that kind of gave me like I say some like oh feelings about that one didn't look as good as this one and why is that so it's going to be an interesting experience but I do think pinks are not my colour because I've got such a pink face so yeah I, I, I'm making this one up it might end up being worn as pyjamas but I am going to make it up and it's a beautiful fabric and then I bought mum some of this Lady McElroy jersey from the Goldhawk Road she's made a top out of it a Renfrew t-shirt I bought her three meters and there's a fairly decent chunk here so I have hopefully I'll be able to get at least a short sleeve gable out of this this fabric is ever so slightly sheer so I have a feeling that I will have to wear this gable with a vest underneath because the gable is quite a tight top but I don't mind layering things up so yeah that's the plan gotta get those cut out it shouldn't take me too long I'm listening to another Amelia Peabody book at the moment which I'm really enjoying I also <laughs> took this footage of Susie earlier this morning does anyone else think the dog is spoiled she's wearing her jumper as well I don't know if that's don't... yes she's got a little jumper on there you go Ooh, yeah. she's been very clingy and needy today she wanted to be warm so she's had her jumper put on her and then when mum had to leave we made her a nest and then tucked her into the nest and she stayed in her nest very cute very very cute i've also gone through all the patterns <laughs> not on camera this time i didn't disappear into narnia as one of you guys said but yes i've gone into all the patterns got those out for another cutting out session for at least the tops because there's quite a few tops that i would like to get through so getting all prepared but i'm very pleased with my first two well two and a half projects of knitmas and oh this fabric is gorgeous it was so expensive i think it's 22.50 a meter really expensive but it is so so beautiful and so so soft on the inside so i'm very glad that i have it right now i need to film a short of everything that i've done today so that i can put it out this evening so hopefully entice people to watch this video so like i said earlier if you're here from the short and you've stuck around for wow nearly 15 minutes thank you yeah maybe wow actually i was worried today's vlog was going to be really short but apparently not so i think what i will do is call it a night now so i hope you've enjoyed all of the waffle and a look at my new favorite i mean it, everything i make is my new favorite but my new favorite garment probably will actually end up wearing these tomorrow because comfy but yeah i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you all tomorrow for the hangout and more vlogness vlogness vlogmas goodness <laughs> bye Thank you.